Hello everyone, I needed a quick video to film to put out today, so I will be doing makeup that's come into my collection recently. Um, it's mostly foundations and lip products. There are a few blushes, a bronzer, and a palette, eyeshadow palette, so let's go ahead and get started. We'll start with the foundations. So, this first one is from Smashbox. It's the Always On skin balancing foundation. I got this from the cosmetic company store. That's what it looks like. Looks like it'd be a good shade for me right now, actually. The shade is called F20C, so it's a cool foundation. I don't think I want to swatch these because I, I don't want to um, get any air in it so it starts its expiration journey, but yeah. I've always wanted to try a Smashbox foundation, and I got two. So, the next one is, once again, from Smashbox. This is the Studio Skin Foundation. I've heard of this one before, and I got a super light color. It's called Point Three Skin Tone Fair Undertone Neutral. So, this is the 24-Hour Hydra Foundation. I like hydrating foundations. Hopefully, that's what that means has a little pump. It had this cap over the pump, but that's what it looks like. Nice glass bottle. They're both one fluid ounce. By the way, I got these. I don't know how much they are like regularly at the cosmetic company store, but I got them for the 10 for 60 deal. So um, every few months they have a deal where you can go in and get um, 10 products for, wait, no, I'm sorry, six products for $10, so it comes out for $60, so it's six for $60, $10 a piece is what I paid for these, and the last foundation is that I got from the same sale, so this was $10, is from Bobbi Brown, this is the Skin Foundation, a lot of people love this one, and I got Warm Beige, so actually I got a cool toned, a warm toned, and a neutral toned foundation and I did do that on purpose so this one has SPF of 15 it's a little warmer um but yeah skin foundation I'm actually super excited to try this one they're all in glass bottles so that's fun it's kind of hard to talk about foundations but um okay here's something else I got from the cosmetic company store it's a lip gloss it's from MAC this is the dazzle glass Usually I wouldn't pay $10 for this. It's called Fun Tabulous. Typically I wouldn't pay $10 for this, but I'm gonna show you the shade. The shade is purple. It's like the prettiest magenta shimmer ever. Look how pretty that is. Now it's probably gonna be like a gloss topper on the lips, yeah. So it's like clear with some purple shine to it pretty much. This actually kind of looks like a lip gloss I just finished. <laughs> but there it is right there. Has the vanilla MAC scent. I just got it on my nose. The only reason I got it is because it was that purple color. Okay, next. Let's do these two. I found these at Target on clearance. Um, so the first one is from L'Oreal. I found on clearance for $2.69. And this is the shade. Oh, this is the Glow Paradise L'Oreal lipstick. In the shade Cherry Wonderland. Which is interesting because it's kind of this orange color. Um, but yeah, Cherry Wonderland. I did wear it once. The reason I bought it is because I went to work one day. And I forgot a lip gloss, so I went to Target and got one real quick, which ended up being this lipstick because it was on sale. But look how pretty it is. It's just like a nice light shine. And for $2.69, that was an easy pickup. Um, also, I had like on my Target app, I had like a manufacturer's coupon for $2 off. So I got one of these for $0.69 cent because the next one's also from L'Oreal. This is the Infallible Pro Gloss um, in the shade Coral Sands. I'm about to sneeze. Anyways, um, 
I'm not sure if I have one of these or not. Interesting applicator. It's like pointed that way. I don't like those applicators with the little hole in the middle because as soon as you press it down on your lips, the product seems to go in that middle little hole. There it is right there. It does have slight pigment to it. But it's mostly just this like sheer golden shade, like beige shade. So that'll be fun to use. Now let's do the two from Sephora. I got these quite a while ago. This one, first of all, I got a lip liner. This is the Sephora Contour Gel Lip Liner. Um, they had like a three times the points if you buy something from the Sephora collection. So this is what I bought because it was like just a few dollars. Um, and this is in the shade Cashmere Pink. I just thought it was a cute like bright pink color. I can't swatch it because it's all taped up and I don't want it to dry out. Next is one of the Viral Sephora lip glosses. Outrageous Plump Effect. I didn't know I got the plumping one. I actually don't like plumping lip glosses that much. I don't think they do much and I don't like the menthol-likeness. But this is the shade 11 and Outrageous. It's like this very light sparkly pink color. And it's also in plastic so I can't swatch it. Next, let's do these bronzers and blush. You will probably <laughs> recognize these. Let's do the bronzer first. This is the NYX Buttermilk Bronzer. I got this at Ulta. They were like 20% off, 30% off, something like that. Looks like I've already opened it, so I'll open it. I got the shade Buttercup. I think it's one of the lightest shades. So this will be very light for me, but a lot of my bronzers are too dark in the winter. So I wanted like a winter one. Oh yeah, it's like super light. Hopefully that'll work for me. <laughs> it's like the same color as my skin tone, but maybe in the winter it'll work better. But yeah, the NYX Buttermilk Bronzer. I'm stuffy, so I can't smell that good, but... um, It's only five grams. That's actually... Well, that's pretty average sized, I guess. Okay, now for the two blushes. First of all, NYX Buttermelt Blush. Oh, I know what it was. They were buy two, get one free. And they're, I think, $10 a piece. So I bought two of them and got the third one for free. Oh, these only have a six month shelf life. That's surprising. Anyways, this is called Butter Together. It's the soft pink color is what they describe it as. Here it is right here. It looks the same as the packaging. Super pretty. I actually really like that. That'll be a good winter shade as well. Oh yeah. Wow, that's actually really pigmented. I'll get it to focus in a second. And the last one is also a blush. This one's a much more fun shade. This is the purple shade. I don't have a purple blush. So I was like, if I'm getting one free, I might as well do the purple blush. It's called All the Butter. And it's called the Electric Fuchsia shade. Here it is. Oh, now this one doesn't match the packaging. Look how different that looks. You can tell it's much more pinky toned. Okay, wow. Uh, yeah, it kind of looks like a hot magenta color now instead of just like purple. But yeah, it's super pigmented. Wow, I'm kind of scared to try this. I definitely won't do it on a day where I'm going to work. But I'm super excited to do that one. Okay, next. Um, Oh, this was a gift with purchase from Ulta. So I got those next butter things from Ulta. This is also from Ulta. It's the Rim Beauty um, Mini On Your Collar Plumping Lip Gloss. I got this for free. Like I said, it's in the shade Jelly Sandals. Oh, it's so cute. It's like an iridescent clear. It's like minty. Oh yeah, no, it has like purple in it. 
for sure. Wow, that's so pretty. I like that a lot. And this is a mini size, but it looks like a bunch of product, actually. It does have one of these little um, squeezy tubes. Very iridescent. Okay, and last but not least, this is... <laughs> <laughs> I found this at TJ Maxx. It's from Kylie Cosmetics. It's the Wizard of Oz collection. And the only reason I bought it, because I saw it at first, so it was 20 bucks. I wasn't going to buy it for 20 But it was on clearance for 13 And there's just a few greens in here that I really like. I'll show you. I know I don't need any more palettes, but I like the greens in here. There's a, um, some pretty shimmers. And I actually do like the Kylie formula. So cute packaging and cute inside so let's see I'll swatch a few I'll swatch that one that one that one they actually these look really really good Okay, so I swatched Glinda the Good Witch, Wicked Witch, Dorothy, Scarecrow, and Tin Man. Ooh, wow. The shimmers are like really dry, but they perform well, actually. Well, maybe it was only the first one that <laughs> performed well. Now the mats definitely perform well. Oh no, I swatched so bad. Anyways, that's the shimmers up there and that's the mats. Yeah, the shimmer, this first shimmer swatched pretty well, but the last two did it. They're very dry feeling. But anyways, <laughs> that's all I have for this video. And hopefully I'll do another one soon because I did have new stuff come in. But yeah, um... I like these videos, they're short and fun. Thanks for watching, bye.